Hey guys, Brown Life here. Uh, welcome to Rise to the Occasion. Uh, I've decided to do a video diary of my play through Iron Man 2020 this year. There's been a request from the Mythos Busters that people share their anecdotes and their stories uh, and use the hashtag FFG play and share uh, and hashtag Arkham Iron Man 2020. So I've decided that as opposed to uh, writing stuff up, I'll just uh, do some videos. Um, first thing to say is there'll be no, there'll be very little gameplay on these videos. I'm just going to sort of give updates as to what I've been doing and, and how the deck's performing and so on. I might video a couple of crucial moments, but for the most part, it's just a, it's just a diary from your own records. Uh, I do another channel called Dumb Luck where I do chaos Ultimatum of Chaos plays. I will not be doing that. Uh, I've decided. I, I did cross. I did think about it, but I decided that's probably a little bit too far. And um, TCU was hard as enough as it is. So anyway, uh, if you don't know what Iron Man is, uh, what it is is it's uh, groups of people playing an entire campaign on a single day. Um, it's what they normally do in Arkham Knights uh, over in the States, and uh, it's organised by, the, by the Mythos Busters. Uh, and unfortunately, um, obviously, given the current situation, that, that's not happening this year. So um, firstly, uh, just to say, I'm really, really sorry, guys, that you haven't managed to have this event uh, in person. But a massive thank you for arranging this to be done online because, um, you know, every cloud is a silver lining. Uh, I get to take part, which would never have happened anyway. So, uh, but yeah, just wanted to say uh, I am sorry that it, it hasn't worked out for you guys uh, in, in your normal way. Uh, I am super excited though. People are people are very, very excited about this. Um, I will be doing it solo, which is is uh, obviously going to be a little bit watered down than trying to do uh, eight scenarios with four people in one day. So it's more of like a, it's more of a, I guess it's more of a, like a fun run than an Iron Man. But hey, I'm excited to do it anyway. So what's happened so far? Well, I've done the prelude and I played as uh, Valentino Rivas who I believe uh, some people <laughs> refer to as, as Tino. I, I'm far too intimidated by Valentino to call him Tino. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, me and Valentino had a pretty good, pretty good run, actually. In fact, we had my best run in the prelude uh, that I've ever had. Uh, he disappeared into the mist, uh, which, I, which I believe is good news, uh, and I managed to get five clues. So I'm really, really chuffed about that. Um, I don't really know why it went so well. I think um, I hit his elder sign a couple of times, uh, which is gain two resources. Uh, which, as we all know, uh, gaining two resources for your Elder Sign is the sign of a really, really good investigator. Um, so yeah, there we go. So Valentino has done his bit. Uh, maybe we'll see him later. I don't know. But my Iron Man, or my Iron Man experience is going to be with uh, Wendy Adams. And the reason I'm doing this is because... Um, I played a game with a random deck and I just had a blast. Um, it was it was my most successful play through the core set. Um, during that deck, I had Yautul and I, I made I made the plan to make a deck involving Yautul. Uh, however, I've kind of bottled it a bit because um, I I couldn't really make that deck good enough for Iron Man. But I am trying a couple of new things. So I've got my deck. Uh, I'm just going to talk through it in a couple of ways. Oh, one really important thing to say is uh, I'm definitely at the amateur end of uh, of Arkham. Uh, so, um, you know, if you want to see something a bit more insightful, it might be better off to, to watch some of the some of the more established uh, channels uh, as they talk through what they're doing. But, you know, I'm, I'm always uh, I'm always doing my stuff as, as a learning experience. And uh, I've certainly learned a lot from doing my chaos plays. So anyway, on to Wendy. What have I got planned? Okay, well, I've got no choice over those two. So something I wanted to try, which I think might be a bit of fun, is uh, combining Nimble with Track Shoes, uh, which can kind of be played in a couple of orders. So maybe I'm uh, I'm evading or, or, or playing uh, Nimble on a encounter card, and uh, I could, let's say, pass by two, move into a location that happens to have enemies, use my Track Shoes to skip past that, move another place, and, and before I know it, on the other side of the map, also, I could do it the other way around, which is I could move into a location that's got enemies. And when I'm taking this test, commit nimble. Um, and again, before you know it, I've run all over the place. There's a couple of scenarios where I think that's going to be really useful. Uh, it's not going to be uh, particularly useful in the first scenario, the witching hour. Uh, but it could be really, really good at the Migra estate. You can get right up to the other side uh, without too much hassle. 
Uh, let's see what else we've got. Oh, key ring. This is mainly for experiment. Um, I have played this deck. I managed to get a, a pretty good result on pit, pit of despair using this deck. Um, I just fancy trying the old key ring. Something else. Another reason I've got the old key ring is because I can use resourceful to get it back, which of course you can't do uh, with the flashlight. Uh, yeah, the reason Yalta won't be making an appearance is because uh, I'll be going with Peter Sylvester. Um, I've gone for the leather jacket for soak. When I tested this deck, I seem to have quite a lot of money left over. Um, I've got my clue tech, uh, look what I've found, I've got the fire axe for emergencies, backstab for emergencies and waylay for emergencies. I'm testing sneak by for a bit of uh, econ uh, and of course got something a little bit more standard there. And then um, I do like my skill cards, I definitely do like my skill cards. Um, I quite like last chance uh, with Wendy due to the fact that she seems to get through her cards pretty quickly. You tend to have more question marks with her. Um, Narrow Escape is just my most favourite card in the entire game. Also, spoiler alert, I am planning to upgrade to the Ornate Bow, so that works very nicely there. Um, of course, Unexpected Courage is brilliant. Uh, Trial by Fire is there if I get into a big battle uh, and I want to use my Fire Axe or, or any other thing. And I just, I just love Live and Learn. I think it's, I think it's one of the best cards. It's really, really good with Wendy. A um, couple of things you could do with Wendy. Firstly. If you've got a couple of cards in hand and live and learn, you can you can have four cracks at a really crucial test using her ability. Uh, secondly, what's really satisfying is when her amulet's out and you use uh, live and learn to redraw. And if you fail, then you can you then you can play it straight off the discard pile and um, get another go with a plus two. So that's that. In terms of upgrades, um, I'll discuss them as and when. Like I've already said, I want to try out the ornate bow. But there is another card I'm really really keen to try. I don't know if this is a good card or not. I think it's going to be good, and that is Deja Vu. Um, the reason I'm playing this is because I think if I don't play it, I probably will never play this card. Because, um, obviously, it's completely pointless in standalone, and 5 XP is an awful lot. You've got to really think about it beforehand if you want to play it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be playing Deja Vu. So, obviously, I'm going to have um, quite a lot of cards with Exile. Uh, and that also leads into Stroke of Luck, which is going to be uh, pretty handy when it comes to those circle tests. Right, okay, so there we go. Um, ah, yeah, one one crucial part of the puzzle is missing, and that is my random basic weakness, uh, which will be drawn uh, by the Mythos Busters on their live stream later, so I'm very excited to see that. I probably won't see it um, live, because I'll probably be asleep, um, but I can't wait to wake up and find out what I've got. I will, I'll take whatever comes up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna redraw it, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that, even if it is doomed or overzealous. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, one last thing is uh, quite a big, uh, quite a big evening plan tonight, so if my voice is is a, is a little bit deeper. Uh, don't adjust your speakers. Uh, in the next video, it, it's just uh, it's just my body recovering. So uh, that should add a little bit more jeopardy to the day. All right, guys. I hope you have a wicked uh, Iron Man. I hope you. Uh, I hope things turn out well for you. Oh yeah. In terms of my plan, uh, what route I'm going, um, I don't have one. Uh, I, I'm I haven't got a clue. I'm just gonna. See where the instinct takes me. I won't go for the the lodge win. I will go for one of the. Uh, I, I will want to do eight all eight scenarios. Um, but there we go. Any thoughts on the deck are very welcome. But it, I have I have decided that's my deck now. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a sentimental old booby when it comes to some of these cards. So uh, especially that one, I just absolutely love it. Um, oh yeah, and finally, because it's a special occasion, I thought I'd whip out the old Christmas uh, play mat. All right, there we go, guys catch you in the first uh, update, which will probably be after I've done the first two scenarios. Whew, wish me luck. See you later.